I'm now going to take a look at reading drill D2, which is on the grand staff and includes intervals of the fourth, as well as, of course, the other intervals. When you did the learn module, you learned about intervals and about landmark notes. So we're going to look at number three of D2, and you should notice that it starts on middle C and that we have um, mostly thirds and seconds and one-fourth. In the last two measures, we have an octave higher symbol. We also have some other symbols. We have a mezzo forte for four bars and then a piano for the last two bars. Notice in bar one that I start on middle C. I play up a third and then down a third. Then I go up to a step to D. And I have the same pattern, up a third and down a third. Then I go up to E. And it looks like I'm going to have the same pattern, except that at the end I'm going to go down a fourth. And then I'm going to end back on C. So I'm going to just try that, that portion of it. One, two, three. counting to make sure I counted correctly. One, two, three. I'm just going to practice doing that. I got my C to C. Do that till it's easy. Okay, so now in my high position where it says octave higher, I'm going to look and see what notes I have. I see that I'm starting with the finger number three. On E, I go up a skip, down a fourth, down a second. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to start with three on E, up a third, down a fourth, down a second. Since the fourth is a new interval for you, you want to kind of get used to how it feels. There's only two ways you can play a fourth. Fingers two and five, and fingers one and four. to get used to that. Fingers two and five, fingers one and four. That will help me get used to this five two fingering on that fourth. Okay, so now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to try to play the whole thing and I have to move up an octave in bar five. So I might have to leave bar four a little early to give myself time to move. So I'm going to show you how that would look. One, two, three. cheated that note. I, I left it early, but that was how I had to do it to get there on time. It's a bigger crime to be late than it is to miss a note, to cut a note short. Also notice the dynamics, how soft I got at the end. I'd like you all to work on that too. One more time. One, two, three. Example two in prep D2, prep reading D2. It's for my left hand, and it's all staccato. That's the detached, the detached uh, touch, as opposed to legato, which would be. Okay, and 
Now, first thing I want to do is scan for my intervals and my position. I have a landmark note C right there with my fifth finger. All right, and I'm going to start and end on that note. I'm going to notice that I go up a third and then down a second and then down a second, up a fourth, down a second, down a second, up a fourth, down a third, down a third. So I had two fourths in this piece. One fourth, is it going to be a, a five two fourth, finger five, finger two, and one is going to be a, a four one fourth. And here comes the cat. Go away. He likes to help me. We had a five two fourth and a four one fourth. I want to just drill on that. Okay? So we've looked at the intervals. This one's a little tricky. It's not as patterned, so I'm going to have to maybe practice it a few times. All right, so one, two, three. One, two, up a fourth, down a step, down a step, up a fourth, down a third, down a step. Now, you see at the end of that there, it says repeat, 8 VB, or an octave lower, octava bassa. So I've got the same situation here, where I have to move my hand down. All right, so that, what that means is I play the whole song where it's written, which is here, and then I move it down for the repeat. Okay? I also have a mezzo piano dynamic marking with a crescendo to forte. So, I've got a lot of things to do here. I've got a lot of things to think about. So, assuming that I've mastered the notes, I'm ready to move on, say, to the, uh, just working on the move. Okay? One, two, three. Fourth. Fourth. for you the first time. You might have to really just kind of study it. All right, now I'm going to try the dynamics. <clears throat> You'll notice that I don't try to do everything all at the same time when I'm first learning because that would be too much. One, two, three. of the reading drills. Let's review your process for the reading drills. You're first going to find your position on the keyboard by looking at your landmark notes. Second, you're going to, before you play, identify all the intervals up and down that you have, seconds, thirds, and fourths, up and down. And then you're going to try to play it very slowly, always thinking about those intervals. I'm going up a third, I'm going down a second, whatever you're doing, okay? Then you're going to try to do that while you count very carefully to be sure you're playing it in three. Then you're going to practice a position shift if there is one, 8VB or 8VA. Just work on the shift, okay? Then you're going to practice doing the shift and then you're going to practice the dynamics. So there's a uh, multiple steps here and I want you to Follow that process and not try to do them all at one time because you're not going to be able to do them all at one time. So, good luck and enjoy yourselves. <laughs>